All right, number six. 7x squared equals 21x. I'm supposed to solve that by factoring. So my first step would be to get the 21x over here by minus 21x on both sides. So I'd get 7x squared minus 21x is 0. Anytime they all have an x, you know that 0 is a solution. Why? Because 7 times 0 squared, 0 squared 0, 7 times 0 is 0, 21 times 0 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0. So anytime they all have an x, you know 0 is one of your solutions. So from there, you might be tempted to go like what we just did on this problem and jump to this and put negative 45 and 4. But notice ours only has two terms. You cannot do this process when there's two terms. So when there's two terms, that means either difference of two squares, which seven is not a square because that'd be a rectangle, seven times one. So it, it could be it doesn't factor, or it could be GCS. And I'm looking at this, and I notice that one, they're, they're both divisible by seven. And I notice that they both have 1x. If you could take out just 1x, this gets to be a lot easier because then that x times x is x squared and you get linear factors. So what's left over, 7x times what is 7x squared. You just need 1x. 7x times what is 21x would be 3. This is much easier to find the solutions. This, not so much. Because this is called a linear factor. This is a linear factor. And lines are easier to work with. So our first one, using the zero product property, would be 7x equals 0. Or x minus 3 is 0. Solving both, if I divide both sides by 7, I still get 0. And that's what I said. I said from the beginning 0 is a solution. And then the other solution, what number minus 3 is 0 would be 3. So x equals 3. So I got 0, and I got 3.